smile and take it as a compliment. I live life the only way I know how. Walk with a swagger and rep the South. It's Redneck, and I'm back with a game-changing glitch in Dying Light. What you're about to see will change Dying Light. If you like this video, which I know you will, help me take this viral and smash that like button by clicking the thumbs up below this video. And subscribe to my channel if you're new for daily Dying Light videos. Let's jump into this. A huge shout out to The Name Is Asian for finding this glitch and sharing it with me so that way I can share it with the world. Hit him up on Instagram, Bailey underscore is underscore official, and on Twitter, Pooping Master Ho. And you know all that information's in the description. Thanks, Asian. I really appreciate it. This, as you can tell from the title, is a how to duplicate dockets in Dying Light. This is 100% real and 100% working. This isn't just a couple dockets here and there either. As you can see, it's literally hundreds of dockets here and there. Hundreds. And the best part is this works on all systems. Xbox, PS4, and PC. This glitch is also a solo method, so you don't need anyone's help to do this glitch. It's amazing. All right, so go into your Dying Light game and just sit there. We're gonna perform this glitch somewhere else. You just have to make sure you're in a Dying Light game. For me, I just went in by myself and I made sure that there was no night invasions enabled by turning it to never and also making sure that the co-op was turned off. You can do that by going into the game, hitting the menu button. For me, it's the black touchpad on the PS4 and then hitting triangle, which brings up the menu where you can choose co-op off and night invasions to never. It doesn't matter if you're in the following or if you're just in a regular dying light game. Just get into the game and sit there. Okay, now step one, go to dockets.dyinglightgame.com. Now I'm also gonna have this information along with a full tutorial in the description. So you don't have to worry about remembering that website. You can either use a computer or your phone to go to that website as well. Click the sign up button when you get there Enter all your information and then click link platforms and enter your information for your corresponding system. And like I said, this works on all systems. So PS4, Xbox One, and PC via Steam. Step two, click redeem codes on the website and enter some docket codes to unlock a few dockets. Don't worry, I've included eight docket codes in this video. Check the description in this video. Step three, once you've entered the docket codes, you're gonna see your dockets in the top right here next to the gearbox. Click it and then scroll down to see your dockets. Now step four, you're gonna wanna click link platforms once again and then click linked on your system to unlink it. Now click link to link it back to your system. This is where the meat and potatoes of the glitch are. You're gonna to wanna to stay on this page and continue to link and unlink your system while you're still in your Dying Light game. Note, if you get signed out from the site, just log back in and continue to link and unlink your system. Now after a few minutes, you're gonna get a notification in your Dying Light game that you have dockets at the Quartermaster. The longer you spam link and unlink, the longer it takes to get your dockets. So if you just click link and unlink just a few times, well then you're gonna get your dockets in your Dying Light game a lot quicker. Well, my advice to you is to do what I did and just continue to spam link and unlink and then stack up those dockets. Sometimes it does take a while, but this is the best way to get those legendary weapons in Dying Light. Once you have enough dockets, 
go to the quartermaster and cash in those dockets for a chance at a legendary weapon. You won't always get a legendary weapon, so the more dockets, the better. Just keep clicking on the dockets. Sometimes, while I was doing this glitch, I waited as long as 15 minutes for my dockets to appear in-game. However, when those dockets were in the amount of over 200 dockets at a time, I wasn't unhappy at all. Use this glitch to get some legendary and gold weapons in Dying Light. And make sure to drop this video a like by clicking the thumbs up below. If you're new to my channel, subscribe for amazing daily videos. I truly hope this video helped you out, and go out there and duplicate yourself some dockets. The cool thing about this glitch is you don't have to have a bunch of dockets at first. Check the description of this video for all the information for the website, as well as the docket codes. I'm Redneck. Until next time, peace.